All right, hello folks. Hi, I'm Mr. Nuclear Monster. This will be day 748 of um, learning German. Uh, this uh, I'm sorry, I'm learning German with uh, Duolingo and Memrise. And thank you as always to Cooster for the rain sound that we're about to hear once I remember to start that up. And thank you also to Peter Silk for the music we were just listening to. Uh, you can see Peter Silk's page here. And let's get started. I've got, I'm in 19th place, which is not so hot. Oh, let me, uh, let me also flip over to the regular learning German mode. Here we are. And try to kick out some of this. We got about 48 minutes here to learn some German. Das Wetter ist heiß, aber du joggst heute. Wetter ist heiß, aber du joggst heute. The weather is hot, but you are jogging today. Okay. Surfst du jeden Tag? Do you, uh, do you go surfing every day? Surfst du jeden Tag? Mein Vater kocht manchmal, aber nicht heute Morgen. Vater kocht manchmal, aber was? Mein Vater kocht manchmal, aber nicht heute Morgen. Aber nicht heute Morgen. Uh, my father cooks sometimes, but not today. Or not this morning. Mein Vater kocht manchmal, aber heute nicht, aber nicht heute Morgen. Meine Lehrerin joggt jeden Tag. Teacher jogs every day. Meine, Le meine Lehrerin joggt jeden Tag. Sie joggen immer am Wochenende. Joggen immer am Wochenende. Am Ende. They always jog on the weekend. Sie joggen immer am Wochenende. Ich jogge heute. I'm jogging today. Ich jogge heute. Ich fotografiere nicht oft. Photographiera. Oh wait, no, that's spelled completely differently. Photographiera. They spell it. Photographiera. Okay, photographiera. Was? Ich fotografiere nicht oft. Nicht oft. I don't. Pho I don't take photos often. Ich jogge jetzt. Ich jogge jetzt. I am now jogging. Ich jogge jetzt. Ich koche oft im Urlaub. Oft. Dem Urlaub. Im Urlaub, that makes more sense. Which is, I co often cook on vacation. Wo surfst du? Where do you surf? Wo surfst du? Es schneit, aber sie joggen heute Morgen. Es schneit, aber sie joggen, was? Es schneit, aber sie joggen heute Morgen. Sie joggen heute Morgen. It's snowing, but she is jogging today. Or, but they are jogging this morning, right? Because it's joggen. That's how I should have known it was a... Uh, a plural of people, more than one person. Surfst du oft? Do you surf often? Surfst du oft? Sie ist Kellnerin und sie joggt jeden Tag. Sie ist Kellnerin und sie joggt jeden Tag. She's a waitress and she jogs every day. Os. Os? Och, Os. Es ist heiß, aber ich jogge heute Morgen. Es, es ist heiß, aber ich jogge jeden Morgen, is that right? Es ist heiß, aber ich jogge heute Morgen. Jogge heute Morgen. It is hot, but I'm jogging this morning. Schwimmst du im Urlaub? Uh, do you swim on vacation? Schwimmst du im Urlaub? Warum joggst du heute Morgen? Warum joggst du heute Morgen? Why are you jogging this morning? Joggst du jetzt? Uh, are you jogging now? Joggst du jetzt? Mein Lehrer joggt nie im Urlaub. My lehrer jogged nie im Urlaub. My teacher never jogs on vacation. Der Junge singt, aber nicht gut. Der Junge singt, aber nicht gut. The boy sings, but not well. Der Junge singt, aber nicht gut. Ich koche oft im Urlaub. Koche oft im Urlaub. I often cook on vacation. I cook every day, but I need, I need more in my repertoire. Let's see, what do we got here? Six plans, but I really need to get a bunch of XP. So I'm probably gonna have to try to find something and level up. Oh my gosh, this 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 is not great. I guess I did a lot on Sunday, so it doesn't help. So it doesn't make the week look that good. I actually think I did more this week than I did last week, which is surprising, but that's what um 
That's what I, I got in my email summary from uh, Duolingo. All right, what, what's the closest thing to being leveled up? Free time. No, birthday. Like, birthday and roommate, I guess. Birthday two and roommate. Heute ist ein wichtiger Tag. Wir machen eine Party. Today is an important day. We are having a party. Heute ist ein wichtiger Tag. Wir machen eine Party. Ich hoffe, jeden Tag zu schwimmen. What? It just wants me to type one word. Ich hoffe, jeden Tag zu schwimmen. I hope every day to go swimming. I'm hoping every, to swim every day. Ich komme ganz bestimmt zur Party. They only want me to type Hoffa for that one. Huh. I am definitely coming to the party. Ich komme, ich komme ganz bestimmt zur Party. Seine Schwester hat bald Geburtstag. Seine Schwester hat bald Geburtstag. Her, her sister's birthday is soon. Er hofft, seine Frau mag die Party. He hopes that his wife likes the party. Er hofft, seine Frau mag die Party. Das ist süß. Ihre Freundin backt einen Kuchen für mich. As sweet, her girlfriend baked a cake for me. Das ist süß. Ihre Freundin backt einen Kuchen für mich. We are planning a picnic for his birthday. Oh, planning. How do you conjugate planning in a sense? Okay, planning. Okay. We are planning. Ein. Z was? Seinen? No, ein Picknick for seiner Geburtstag. Geburtstag. Oh, seinen Geburtstag. Okay. Wir planen ein Picknick for seinen Geburtstag. I, I put seiner Geburtstag. That does not make sense. It should have been seinen. Ist morgen ganz bestimmt ein wichtiger Tag? Is tomorrow definitely an important day. Ist morgen ganz bestimmt ein wichtiger Tag. Das ist cool. Ihre Oma ist fast 100 Jahre alt. That is cool. Her grandma is almost 100 years old. Das ist cool. Ihre Oma ist fast 100 Jahre alt. Uh, that is cool. Her grandma is almost 100 years old. Wir planen ein Picknick für seinen Geburtstag. We're planning a picnic for his birthday. I wrote picking. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all. We are planning ein Picknick für seinen Geburtstag. We are planning a picnic for his birthday or my incorrect thing if we are planning a picking for his birthday. What the heck is a picking? Seine Freundin hat ein Pferd. Es hat heute Geburtstag. His girlfriend has a horse. Today is his birthday. <laughs> what? Why is he asking me just fill in one word? That's so strange. Meine Oma hofft, ihre Schwester kommt zur Party. My grandma hopes that her sister is coming to the party. Meine Oma hofft, ihre Schwester kommt zur Party. Okay, today is an important day. We're having a party. Heute ist ein wichtiger Tag. Wir machen eine einen oder eine ein. It says es gibt. That's not right. Because it's isn't ein, eine Party, isn't, isn't the word? The party. Yeah, it's die Party, so it'd be eine Party. I'm glad I didn't take, I, I'm glad I didn't use this as the literal translation because it absolutely wasn't for, we are having a party, I got it right. Heute ist ein wichtiger Tag, wir machen eine Party. Today is an important day, we are having a party. Mein Pferd hat morgen Geburtstag, es heißt Ed. My, my horse is... My horse, horse's birthday is tomorrow. He is called Ed. 
Uh, mein Pferd hat morgen Geburtstag. Es heißt, es heißt Ed. <laughs> I'm definitely coming to the party. Ich, was ist ganz bestimmt? Ich komme ganz bestimmt zur Party. Zur Party. Ja, yeah, that, das that's war richtig. Ich komme ganz bestimmt zur Party. I'm definitely coming to the party. Uh, das Pferd? Ja. Yeah. I'm playing to take a vacation. Ich, kleiner. Ein Urlaub machen? Oh, ein Urlaub machen? Urlaub zu, zu machen? Oh, kleiner Kama. Urlaub zu machen. Okay. Let me grab a drink here. Okay. We are planning a picnic for his birthday via. Is it just planning? Was that it? We are, we are planning. Eine, oh, ein picnic. For. Sein, sein, sein Geburtstag. It's sein. Oh. We are planning a picnic for seinen Geburtstag. Let me get that right next time. We are planning a picnic for seinen Geburtstag. Exactly. We are planning a picnic for his birthday. I am planning to take a vacation. Ich plane. What is this? Zu Urlaub machen? Urlaub zu machen? Hmm. Urlaub zu machen? Yeah, ich plane Urlaub zu machen. I'm planning to take a vacation. We are planning a picnic for his birthday. We are planning einen, but no, ein picnic for seine, seinen Geburtstag. All right. We are planning a picnic for seinen Geburtstag. We are planning a picnic for his birthday. Just gotta keep leveling this up till I get to level Bringst five. Du einen Kuchen mit? Are you bringing a cake along? Bringst du einen Kuchen mit? Kannst mit? du dein Klavier zur Party mitbringen? Can you bring your piano to the party? Kannst du dein Klavier zur Piano zur Party mitbringen? Is that what the word is? Mit Kannst du dein Klavier zur Party mitbringen? What is that? Can you bring your piano along to the party? I mean, if you have a piano moving team and then like a tuner at the end, kannst du dein Klavier zur Party mitbringen? Wir brauchen 99 Luftballons für die Party. We need 99. Oh wait, how do you spell 90? I can't. I can't spell. 99. Balloons. It's just balloons, right? Luft yeah. Balloons. <laughs> balloons. For the party. We need 99 b balloons for the party. We're broken. 99 Luft balloons for the party. If you can say that sentence and you. Maybe you're like 20 or something years old and you don't know what that means, that's fine. That song's great, but. Also, it's like the German song that Americans know about. We did not. Wir brauchen 99 Luftballons. Yeah. Ich fahre mein Motorrad und bringe Luftballons mit. Uh, I'm riding my motorcycle and bringing balloons along. Ich fahre mein Motorrad und bringe Luftballons mit. Ich bringe Blumen mit. Hast du eine Vase? Wait, what is a water balloon in German? If Luftballon is, because Luft is air, right? And what the heck is water balloon? Water balloon. Wasser Ballon. Wasser Ballon. I guess this is like how we, how pickles are cucumbers, but you don't say like pickled cucumbers, you just say pickles. But 
if we just say balloons, like you don't say air balloons in English, but they do. But that's interesting. They say loof balloons. These are loof balloon. Loof, loof balloons. <laughs> What's it? Balloons. I can't even. I can't even type anymore. No, it's not balloon. It's balloon. Oh my gosh. Ballon. No. Luftballon. Luftballon. Okay. Wait, but isn't the song, is the song Luftballon? No, it's Luftballoon, right? I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Ich bringe Blumen mit, hast du eine Vase? I'm bringing flowers along. Do you have a vase? Vase. Ich bringe Blumen mit, hast du eine Vase? Ja, ich kann eine Flasche Wein mitbringen. Mitbringen, okay. Yeah, ja, I can eine flash of wine mitbringen. Yes, I can bring a bottle of wine along. Meine Mutter will einen Kuchen zur Party mitbringen. Wasser Bama instead of Wasser Ballon. Oh, thanks. Danke schön, Matikor. That makes more sense, actually. Wasser Bama. Is that even suggested? Butter balloon. I don't even know how to spell balloon in English. It's not even suggesting. What about on like this? A deep L translator. Are they gonna suggest Wasser Bomba? Yeah, here we go. Wasser Bombe. Wasser Bombe. Now give me the Water Bomb. <laughs> That's a cooler name. I like Vassar Bama. My mother, my my mother will an including so party may bring in. My mother uh, wants to bring a cake to the party or along to the party. My mother will an including so party may bring. Brings du Kartoffeln für Ed und seine Freunde mit? Are you bringing potatoes along for Ed and his friends? Are these the horses? The late potatoes brings two cartoffeln for Ed and seine Freunde mit. His carrots are not for you, they're for Ed. <laughs> uh, the carrots. The carotten. The carotten. Sind nicht for Dick. Sie sind. Oh, Z? Mm, yeah, it must be Z, right? Season for Ed. Oh, I misspelled carotin. Two T's. I, I put two R's. My mistake. The carotin is nicked for Dick. Season for Ed. Bringst du einen Kuchen oder einen Obstsalat mit? Are you bringing a cake or a fruit salad along? Are you bringing a cake or a fruit salad along? Bringst du einen Kuchen oder einen Obstsalat mit? Kannst du bitte 99 Karotten kaufen? Can you please buy 99 carrots? Kannst du bitte 99 Karotten kaufen? I have a terrible addiction <laughs> and it's it's carrots. Um do we really need 99 bottles of beer? Brauchen wir wirklich 99 Flaschen Bier? I cannot believe I translate that correctly. Brauchen wir wirklich 99 Flaschen Bier? Do we really need 99 bottles of beer? <laughs> Was bringst du zur Party mit? Was bringst du zur Party mit? What are you bringing along to the party? If I'm not enough, that is too bad. Kannst du bitte heute Nachmittag Karotten kaufen? Karotten kaufen. Uh, kannst du bitte heute Nachmittag Karotten kaufen? Can you please buy carrots this afternoon? Kannst du bitte Luftballons mitbringen? Can you please 
bring balloons along. Can't do a bit of loof balloons, mit bringing. Can you please buy carrots this afternoon? Can't do a bit of oita nak mitag. A buy. Karatan kalfin. Karatan kalfin. Can't do a bit of oita nak mitag karatan kalfin. Can you please buy carrots this afternoon? I'm riding my motorcycle and I'm bringing balloons along. Ikfara. My motor rod and and luft balloon, luft balloon. Luft, is it just luft balloons? Yeah, luft balloons. Wait, is it one? It's one O. And luft balloons mid breaking. Is that it? And bring a Luft Balloons mitt. Okay. Bar my motor rod and bring a Luft Balloons mitt. Carrots are not for you, they are for Ed. That the Karatan. The Nick for Dick. Z Zind for Ed. I'm riding my motorcycle and bringing and I'm bringing balloons along. Ick. Bar my motor rod. And bring a. Ballon, la uh, loft, loft ballons. Mit. Okay. Finally finished that lesson. Oh nein, der Kuchen ist nicht süß. Er ist salzig. Oh no, the cake is not sweet, it is salty. Oh nein, der Kuchen ist nicht süß, er ist salzig. The gift is great, I love it. Um, das Geschenk ist toll. Ich liebe es. It's written the same as in Fr as is in French, and it has a little nasal at the end. I oh, ballon. But oh, so it's a it's another loan word from from French. I hear that. Give me some French. Ballon. Ballon. Okay. Let's go for balloon. Oh, uh, how is it in French? Just ballon. Okay. There we go. French. Ballon. Says there's three pronunciations. Ballon. How do you hear the other three? Oh, okay. Ballon. Ballon. <laughs> Dutch pronunciation? Ballon. Hmm. That's funny. The geschenk is tall. Ich liebe es. The gift is great. I love it. Wir bringen Äpfel und Karotten für Ed mit. Wir bringen Äpfel und Karotten für Ed mit. Oh wow, I think I heard the difference between the Äpfel and Äpfel. I'm not sure I can pronounce the difference, but I think Hast I heard du it. Eine Geburtstagskarte für Ed? Do you have a birthday card for Ed? Hast du eine Geburtstagskarte für Ed? Why are the apples so salty? So salty. Roms in the apple. Maybe I'm overpronouncing it now. Roms in the apple. So salzig. Bringst du die Äpfel mit? Are Are you bringing the apples along? Bringst du die Apfel mit? Wir brauchen zehn Äpfel für den Obstsalat. We need ten apples for the fruit salad. Wir brauchen 10 April für, die Obst, für den Obstsalat. Obst mein Mann Salat. kauft die Geburtstagskarte für mich. My husband is buying. Is this plural? Geburtstagskarte. No, just the, just, it's singular. Is buying the 
birthday card for me. My husband is buying the birthday card for me. My man Kalf the Geburtstag Karte. But Geburtstag's Karte for Mick. Okay. The gift is for Ed. He loves it. Das Geschenk is for Ed. Er liebt es. Oh, wait. No, is it S liebt S? Oof. No, it says E. He loves it. So, Er liebt S. Bringst du Geschenke zur Party mit? Geschenke zur Party mit. Are you bringing gifts along to the party? Brings du Geschenke zur Party mit? Oh, mein Pferd bekommt 99 Geschenke. Oh, my horse uh, is getting 99, 99, 99 gifts. Oh, my horse is getting 99 gifts. Oh, mein Pferd bekommt 99 Geschenke. Bringen deine Eltern für Ed Geschenke mit? What? This sentence makes no sense. Is this like, are you bringing your parents as Ed's gift? That doesn't make any sense. Are you, are you bringing your parents for Ed's gift? It's gifts. It's along. Are you bringing your parents along for Ed's gift? Oh no, are your parents, that makes more sense. Are you, are your parents bringing gifts along for Ed? That makes a lot more sense than whatever weird thing I had going on in my head. Das Geschenk ist toll. Ich liebe es. The gift is, is great. I love it. Das Geschenk ist toll. Ich liebe es. The witch is bringing her day long. He is a bear. The Hexa. What is the date? Da just data? The Hexa. Bringt. Your data. Mit. I can't be right. Er ist ein Bar. Bringt your date mit. The Hexa bringt ihr date mit or the data. I don't know how it's pronounced. How's it pronounced? Um, here we go. Wait. I mean, German. Date. This is just date. Okay. The Hexa bringt ihr date mit. So I guess the only thing I got wrong was I added an E and made it era instead of ear. Okay. Is the Kartoffelsalat zu salzig für dich? Is the potato salad too salty for you? Is the Kartoffelsalat too salzig for dich? Oh, das ist süß. Is diese Geburtstagskarte für mich? Oh, that is sweet. Is this a birthday card for me? Oh, das ist süß. Is diese Geburtstagskarte? Bud's Tag's Karte for Mick. Die Hexe bringt ihr Date mit. Er ist ein Bär. Which is bring her date along. He is a bear. Die Hexe bringt ihr Date mit. Er ist ein Bär. Bringen deine Eltern für Ed Geschenke mit. Okay, now that I know what this is. Are your parents bringing uh, uh, gifts for Ed? There we go. Bringen deine Eltern für Ed Geschenke mit. The witch is bringing her day long. He is a bear. The hexa bringt ihr date mit. Er ist ein bear. That's a good question. I don't know if gift is American and present British. It is very strange to me that gift in German means poison. And so you you probably don't want to say I have a gift for you <laughs> to the German friend in your life who doesn't speak any English. Or ich habe einen Gift für dich. The gift, ein Gift. I don't know if it's ein oder eine oder einen Gift for poison. But Americans use present interchangeably with gift, I think. Maybe. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if there's any difference in, in 
the in the cl common usage of gift and present in in English American in American English and British English. I'm riding my motorcycle and I'm bringing balloons along. Okay, fixing up mistakes now. Ich lauf. Hey, no, ich. You're not running your motorcycle. I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, I'm riding my motorcycle. Ich fahre mein Motorrad und ich und bringe Ballon, uh, Ballons mit. Luftballons. Oh. Oh nein, die Banane ist schon braun. Oh no, the banana is already brown. Venom and poison. Gift, gift. Gift, gift. I even gotta say it. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Well, I guess that's two different kinds of presents <laughs> that no one wants. Unless you're like a virologist or whatever kind of person studies those things. Oh nine, the banana is John Brown. Oh no, the banana is already brown. I'm planning to take a vacation. Ich plane zu Urlaub machen? Urlaub zu machen, yeah. The car carrots are not for you, they are for Ed. The Karaten sind nicht for Dick. These sind for Ed. Ich koche auf dem Urlaub. Mm, auf ich koche auf dem Urlaub. Im? Im. I cook off im Urlaub. Oft im Urlaub. I often cook on vacation. The, the witch is bringing her day along. He is a bear. The Hexa bringt ihr date mit. Er ist ein Bär. Wir planen ein Picknick für seinen Geburtstag. We are planning a picnic for his birthday. Come on, I, I was switching between my English and German keyboards. So I put a, a Z instead of a Y, and so it, it uh, told me I got that wrong. Oh, I guess I also got, maybe, okay, this is more reasonable. Bilingo said I got it wrong also because I didn't see this. I accidentally put an extra A. I wrote, we are A planning a picnic for his birthdays. <laughs> maybe if I had just gotten the one thing wrong, it would have accepted it. But I got two things wrong. That's okay. Deine Eltern für Ed Geschenke mit? Are your parents bringing a bringing gifts for Ed? Bring in, bring in deine Eltern für Ed Geschenke mit. I'll be right back. Alright. Warum brauchst du für die Pizza eine Orange? Warum brauchst du für die Pizza eine Orange? I misspelled brauchst. Yeah, and someone someone came along too and had a good suggestion that I could use the um was it Alt G R thing to to swap between to get the char funny the uh, different characters right on my keyboard without having to swap keyboard modes, but yeah, I don't even know what like what does Danish keyboard look like? Danish keyboard layout. Like I always, I already use strange keyboard layouts. Like I've got this um, Alice keyboard layout. Let's see if I can find an example to show you. Uh, Wings. There you go. Like this is the style of keyboard I'm using right now. Uh, where I've got kind of this split layout. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, 
it's definitely comfortable, but also it's a little strange to switch between English and German on that type of keyboard. I imagine it's similarly difficult even on a regular style keyboard. Like I, I still get that a little bit um, confused on on a type, more type of typical keyboard layout. Rome box do for the pizza and an orange. Okay. Why do you need an orange for the pizza? We are planning a picnic for his birthday. We are planning a picnic. Is picnic the uppercase or lowercase? Uppercase. For Zainin Geburtstag. Only about 13 minutes left to learn German. I'm riding my motorcycle and bringing balloons along. Ich fahre mein Motorrad und bringe Luftballons mit. Got it. I'm planning to take a vacation. Ich plane Urlaub zu machen. Wir planen ein Picknick für seinen Geburtstag. Planning a picnic for his birthday. Okay. Let's um see where I'm at. 18th place. At least I'm over a thousand XP. That that's not so bad. It might be a little tough when as we get closer to the um the end of the leaderboard on Sunday. Uh, so that's tomorrow. I'll, I'll start a little bit earlier tomorrow for learning German. Let's do. Let's finish up with some memorize. Der Cousin, die Cousin. Der Cousin, die Cousins. Well, that was a strangely short lesson. Yeah, again. Again, yeah, sure. Yeah, again. Sure. Oh, I'd love to. Okay. Yeah, again. Vier. Vier, four. Vier. Ja, gern. Ja, gern. Ja, gern. Eins. What? Eins. Übrigens. Übrigens, by the way. Übrigens. Der Cousin, die Cousin. Der Cousin, die Cousins. Cousin, the Cousins. <laughs> Wie bitte? Say again, say Wie what? Bitte? Sieben. Sieben is seven. Sieben. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Very good. Entschuldigung. Uh, excuse me. Entschuldigung. Sorry. Entschuldigung. The cost is costing? Morgen. Kosten. 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 Lassen. Well, let me turn that down a little bit. I don't know why it peak is so loud on that translation. Lassen. Am Donnerstag. Am Donnerstag. Am Donnerstag. On Thursday. On Wednesday. Am Mittwoch. Am Mittwoch. Am, Am Mittwoch. Mittwoch. Am Montag. Am Montag. Am Monday. Am Montag. Am Dienstag. On Tuesday. Am Dienstag. Am Dienstag. To pick. Sich aussuchen. Sich aussuchen. Sich aussuchen. Kommen. Kommen. Von hier. Von hier. Von hier. Close. Uh, schließen. Schon. Schließen. Schließen. Nicht schlecht. Nicht schlecht. Not bad. Nicht schlecht. Elf. Eleven. Elf. Wo sind die Toiletten? Wo sind die Toiletten? Where are the toilets? Wo sind die Toiletten? Drei. Three. Three. All right, all right. Let's um, let's do one more of this and then sign Zaina for his. Sein. Oh. Mein, meine. Sein, seine. Why are they trying to confuse me by having sein and sein seine? Sein. sein. Very odd. Alt. Old. Alt. Alt. Die Geschichte. Die Geschichte. The history. Die Geschichte. I think that's what that is. All right. Now we'll flip back to Duolingo. Uh, let's see. We've got nine minutes here to finish up the evening's worth of work. I think I should keep working on this birthday. Just get something closer to legendary mode. We need 99 
Okay. Oh boy, definitely in German mode. When I start plopping out S sets instead of uh, N or M dashes, we need 99 pizzas for the party. And why did I make pizzas uppercase? That's lowercase in English. Wir brauchen 99 pizzas for the party. Ich habe eine Bitte. Kannst du einen Kuchen backen? Ich habe eine Bitte. How do you have a bitter? How do you have a please or that doesn't make sense to me. Ich habe eine Bitte. Oh, a request. Can you bake a cake? Ich habe eine Bitte. Kannst du einen Kuchen backen? Huh. We need 99 pizzas for the party. Wir brauchen. Wir brauchen. Neun und neun sieg. Pizzas for the party. Ich habe okay. eine Bitte. Kannst du Oma und Opa abholen? A request. Can you pick up Grandma and Grandpa? Ich habe eine Bitte. Kannst du eine Ben finden? A request. Can you find a band? Ich habe eine Bitte. Kannst du eine Band finden? Ich muss meine Eltern früher abholen. Oh, that's funny. Thanks for the tip. I didn't. I just noticed now. Uh, you said you can pronounce. I pronounce cousin, cousin as cousin, but Germans speak it very often as cousin. Huh. Let's let's check out this uh, Forvo thing for that. So this is. Hey, Bourbon back. Welcome back. We're unfortunately just about to wrap up here, but I'll be switching over to a game, possibly with Mrs. Nuclear Monster in a minute. Uh, let's see. Though I wanted to check out this pronunciation of Kozan. I don't know how. I guess it's just pronounced that way. Then in German. Goes on, and then, but there's seven pronunciations. Cousin. Cousin. Let me turn the Cousin. Point. Oh, wow, that was loud. These are also not balanced. Cousin. Cousin. Oh, what? Cousin. Cousin. This person just pronounced it both ways. It's nice to have this library of pronunciations at our hands. Cousin. That person said cousin. 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 Oh, they actually have a great microphone. Cousin. Cousin. <laughs> I can't stand people that say cousin, says Bourbon back. Nice. We've got six minutes here. Let's see if we can finish out this lesson. Ich muss meine Eltern was? Ich muss meine Eltern früher abholen. What? Ich. Yep. Muss meine Eltern früher abholen. Früher? As in earlier? I have to pick my parents up earlier. Okay. Für wen ist wen? das Geschenk? For who is the present? For whom is the gift? Okay. For wen ist das Geschenk? People that say Kozang also say... <laughs> Restaurant? I can't see that. I think it's restaurant. 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 Now I have to do this. Restaurant. Restaurant. Restaurant, restaurant. Oh, this person will give us both translations. First guy did what? Restaurant. Oh, they did too. What was the song? There was the song. It's a song. I can't play the song. This is the challenge because I can't play the song because I'll get the the video muted, which is dumb because we're talking about the song. But, or I'm thinking about the the song now that we've mentioned. Alon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you, are you picking your parents up? I, I'm just not sure what this, how the song goes. Does the song say 99 Luftballon? Or does it say belong? Or what? I don't know. 
I can't even think about it anymore. You're picking your parents up. I, oh. I, I don't even know how how to start with this. None of these look like the right right word to start with. This do? No. They are wrong pronunciations because Germans don't get measles. <laughs> what? Uh. None of these look right. I'm gonna click words. Holstu. This dude. It's gotta be Holstu. Holst. Du. Deine Eltern ab. Oh, okay. Holstu, Deine Eltern ab. Are you picking your parents up? Wen holst Got three du minutes. jetzt ab? Wen, what? Wen holst du jetzt ab? Whom, whom are you picking up now? Wen holst du jetzt ab? Kannst du et früher abholen? <laughs> Can you pick up Ed? You can pick up Ed earlier, right? Wen I missed the fur. Who am I picking up? Kannst du mich früher abholen? Uh, can you pick me up earlier? Kannst du mich früher abholen? Wen willst du zur Party mitbringen? Whom are you bringing along to the party? Wh whom do you want to? Right, willst du? I missed that part. Whom am I picking up, Ben? Oh, jeez. I'm not sure I'm going to get through this. I've got two minutes left. Wen hole ich ab? Yeah, wen hole ich ab? Who am I picking up? Holst du deine Eltern ab? Are you picking your parents up? You pick your siblings up earlier. Kennst Kannst du, du deine, deine Geschwister, Geschwister abholen? Mit. That doesn't seem right. That was not right. Yeah, All right. Ich hole jetzt die Pizzas ab. This, this, this lesson is cursed. We're going to have to bop out of this because there's no way I'm finishing this in less than a minute. But uh, this discussion of uh, the bizarre pronunciation of certain individuals in Germany is, is very interesting. Restaurant, restaurant. Like this person who has two different pronunciations in their submitted pronunciation to Forvo is very strange. Restaurant. Oh, submitted by the Easter Bunny. <laughs> Restaurant. Oh, that was a, a, a G sound at the end. Restaurant. Restaurant. Nope. Restaurant. Restaurant. This whole situation is very strange. Restaurant. 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 I guess I guess we're hearing too here in English for British English though there's different pronunciations. Restaurant. Yeah, I mean yeah, these all are all loan words from French. We're not giving them back. They're, we've ruined them. Restaurant. Restaurant. This one has minus one votes. Restaurant. This one too. So some people pronounce it like in French and some people pronounce them overly Germanized. Well, yeah, I don't know. Restaurant. I'm not sure how I even say it in English anymore. There's British English. Here's American English. Restaurant. 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 Yeah, some of us just completely drop the restaurant. Some people say restaurant, and some people just say restaurant. Completely like uh, uh, breaking the second syllable. Restaurant. 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 Let's hear it without the rain. Restaurant. 
Restaurant. <laughs> Restaurant. A portrait. 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 What? Oh, how is portrait pronounced? What is portrait even in German? Portrait. Portrait. What? Portrait. 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 Yeah, I mean, well, French drops a lot of the, the end of their their end of the wor words, or at least it seems so. I don't really know it that well, obviously. This is this is an incredible rabbit hole to go town. Of, French, portrait, to. English and German. Portrait. Only one person was brave enough to try to pronounce portrait in German. Portrait. Self-portrait. National Portrait Gallery. Oh, that person isn't even speaking American English. That was not... No one says it like that. Yeah, because they're from... <laughs> Woofy Woo X. X is from the UK. Of course, they're not going to say the same thing. The film is a devastatingly resonant portrait of an unsettled <laughs> generation. What? All right. Squirrel? Oh, yeah. There's like, I think there's a great easy German video of them uh, being forced to pronounce words in in english and like the different non-native english speakers pronouncing those words it's very good highly re recommended if you want to see people try to pronounce i think squirrel and like thorough and other uh silly american english words or just english words squirrel Really, Brian is difficult? Interesting. Eastern Gray Squirrel. All right. That's going to do it for Learning German tonight, folks. Uh, I'll probably be back in a minute, maybe with the game, possibly with Mrs. Nuclear Monster. We will see. Stay tuned. Uh, but if you're watching on YouTube, that'll be in a different video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.